Hey, I think it's time for more worries. <laughs> worries round two. <laughs> one time, this is a for real worry. One time, um, when I was little, a guy called my house and he said, Hey kid, I'm running a radio contest. Oh, my mom's sad. Oh, I forgot you were here. <laughs> and, he said, and he said, hey, kid, I'm running a radio contest. Why don't you sing for me? And I did. And then I gave him all of my friend's phone numbers. And I was like, they're going to be famous, too. And since my mom is smart, she got home and I said, Mom, I'm going to be on the radio. And she immediately said, that's not real. And... <laughs> And called the radio station, and I thought she was just jealous, but turns out she wasn't. I just worry about that. That's creepy. It's just something I think about. Um, I also worry that my sister's dog is actually smart and like knows how to read, but like just can't tell anyone, so she's frustrated, and that's why she barks all the time and pees on the bathroom rug. I worry about that. I worry that at a comedy show, I'm going to be passive-aggressive towards a puppy. That's... That's inappropriate. Um, I worry about death. So, pretty standard. That's, uh, I got, I also, I worry about having coughing fits while I'm on stage. It's never happened, but it is my biggest fear in stand-up comedy. Um, I, I worry that I will never live up to the career of Laura Sanders, child opera star. I don't have any photos like that. I, um, I'm constantly worried about gypsies, tramps, and thieves. <laughs> um, I, also, there's, I have a doppelganger in Victorian Village. I think her name's Katie. I've had multiple people say, this girl named Katie looks like you. She lives around here. I'm really nervous I'll never meet her. So if you meet a chick that looks like me in Victorian Village, tie her to a tree. <laughs> I won't have to worry about that anymore. Um, I'm worried sometime I'll accidentally buy a hair shirt. That's a very specific and Catholic worry. Um, speaking of apparel, Brownie Troop 106 rejected me from before. They rejected me because I wouldn't wear one of their little ugly brown outfits. My mom's like, you don't need one of those, and apparently I did. Because that's what they did, so that's gross. Um, also gross, I'm really terrified that one day I'll wake up again with my seventh grade haircut. <laughs> when I was showing, I showed Zach a preview of this show yesterday, and he watched those videos, and he goes, oh, you have the same hair. <laughs> and I just want to say in front of everyone that that's not acceptable to say to me. And that's going to be the last time that that happens.